Hi friends, welcome to Dr. Fountain Pens and uh, I received a request to review a pen from Pilot uh, some time back and this was uh, this kind of a grail pen for few uh, if I may say and the pen is Pilot Custom 823. Uh, the pen usually comes with a bottle of ink in a very good packaging rather than the usual customary Pilot pack, uh, Pilot uh, casings but I caught this through a different channel so uh, this was a typical pack um, with a cardboard sleeve, a simple plastic case, clamshell case and the pen. Nothing much about this. Pilot Custom 823 is a vac filler, it's a vacuum filler and um, a similar kind of a mechanism uh, is, is seen also in uh, Twisby 700. Uh, and now uh, since these pens are um, kind of a, almost everyone possesses them because because they are uh, they are sort of go to pens for few uh, so there is nothing much to explain in the vacuum mechanism but i'll still go through this um, uh, during the video uh, the pen is made up of uh, a good quality um, uh, a translucent um, a resin and uh, it's it's got a medium weight to it and the feel of this in hand is very good uh, the pen feels uh, uh, quite exquisite uh, although uh, the making of the pen is pretty simplistic uh, but i would still feel that this doesn't look like a pen which is kind of a usual of the of the shelf but it's it kind of feels like a very good pen in the hand um, the cap has a simple finial uh, this is uh, this is just a kind of a cigar ended tip here and uh, the the clip is attached to a small metal band just beneath the finial i think there is i think it's separate but i'm i'm not really sure i think it's separate and this band is separate the clip is functional it's got this pilot engraved on this and it's got this rounded bottom many people have their reservations about this kind of a design but i think it's pretty cool um, it has its own statement a small ring uh, at the bottom of the cap and then you have a band which says custom 823 three stars pilot made in japan and then again three stars um, uh, there is a small step down to the barrel which again tapers off into a kind of a rounded uh, uh, bottom this is the grip for the vacuum filler you see it's kind of a cigar shaped design this pen is also available in a couple of other finishes uh, which i think are not available in india it opens up uh, with some um, uh, sort of a um, not so prominent threads and as you can see that it doesn't take a lot of turns to open sort of one and a half turns to open there is a small um, golden band just at the upper part of the writing section it tapers down slightly and then flares out again and you have a small step at the bottom of this also the nib is a size 15 pilot uh, this is a 14 karat gold plate gold nib and this one is in fine tip it has got a very beautiful etching done um, onto the sides and here you see the feet um, you see the the small piston here this is a this is this has got a small stopper at the at the tip uh, which actually seals off the feed when you completely uh, shut off this grip um, at the lower part um, so this this has a bit of ink in the feed but after uh, after a few lines you'll feed you'll uh, know that it sort of uh, dries up and you have to actually use the pen um, with the bottom slightly um, um, just about a, a couple of millimeters um, threaded off um, this instruction is also mentioned onto a small sticker which I didn't remove till the time I had reviewed the pin here you see before use keep the nib upward and unscrew the tall plug to make a 2mm gap and this is the gap which we've created which ensures that this small stopper which you see uh, beneath this um, rubber stub this also comes off to the uh, off from the hole in the um, in the nib feed then if you want to fill the pen you have to completely unscrew this and you 
pull the piston out and as you pull the piston out and uh, you sort of press this down it creates a vacuum inside then this lower section has a flaring the moment this uh, this part comes through this flared section the vacuum created sucks up the ink inside um, if there is a need I'll, I'll put a video of this particular film mechanism later on but I don't think there is a need as everyone is now of these days aware of this particular filling mechanism closing is a bit of an issue because it had been inked earlier so I'll just try to close this without leaking the ink okay there you go uh, the translucent body uh, uh, you can see the ink levels very uh, clearly and you can see the ink sloshing and to some that is uh, kind of a eye candy they you can just keep on fiddling with this as much as you want um, comparison wise we have a pilot metropolitan and another pin this is a pilot custom 74 so these two pens uh, have uh, a different girth um, although sort of a similar similarity in design they both have kind of a similar cap um, uh, clip there you see the similarity in this but then obviously this this is a heavier pen and it has a different filling mechanism and the nib size is also very different maybe in some video I'll compare uh, 74, 912, 92 and uh, make a comparison of 823 all these four together um, this pen I have inked with so let's first come to the writing and then I will tell what's the ink this is a pilot Um, most of the pens which I review, uh, most I'd say all, all of the pens which I review, I own them. Uh, so I don't get these pens for review. Um, so the reason I'm mentioning is that uh, I research them uh, up to my satisfaction and since I'm putting uh, my money into this, uh, I would rather not say things bad about them because, because obviously I have, I have made up my mind before I purchase them and there's something which attracts me to these things um, but still in this particular model uh, I went for a fine because at that point of time I was looking towards uh, finer lines uh, I sort of appreciated that and that is the only thing which I feel I should have done differently um, I am more now inclined towards uh, medium writers and uh, um, I am still on the lookout to sort of change this to a medium writer but then this pen is a, kind, a, a wonderful writer uh, for laying down a fine nib I don't think it gets any better than this the pen even in a fine line gives a very wet line uh, so I'll, I've just tried to change my uh, assessment of wetness of the pen rather than making circles I think uh, we should do some wiping of the text which we've written so there you see the even with the fine nib it lays down a very wet, wet, wet line um, the pen obviously because of the fine nature of the nib has a bit of feedback to it which uh, which is pleasant obviously but uh, with a medium nib it would have been um, a, a much smoother experience for me um, it is not a reverse writer 
and I won't flex. <laughs> That's that. Um, overall, um, I was looking forward to having this pen, and I'm I'm happy with this. I would have wanted a medium nib, but even in the fine nib, I don't think it gets any better than this. The nib has got a very good size. It's a very very good experience writing with this pen. Um, again, I hope uh, this review helped you. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you.